that the Tennessee Department of Children's Services have been facing are really taking a toll on both the children in the system and the staff. Commissioner Margie Quinn has even stated that children are stuck sleeping in offices while they await placement with foster families. And when we spoke to Knox County's DCS just a few months ago, we were told that there were only around 350 foster homes available for the more than 630 children placed in DCS custody. Well, WAT 6 on your side's Kristen Gallant shares how one Tennessee-based organization is trying to help those children and DCS while they wait for foster care placement. Those with the Tennessee Department of Children's Services have been fighting to stay afloat. It's not only true for East Tennessee, it's not only true for the entire state of Tennessee, it's true for Texas and Florida and Georgia. I mean, it's, it's everywhere. Child welfare is in a state of crisis. Commissioner Margie Quinn has said their lack of staff and available foster homes has caused children to sleep in their offices while they look for placements. People want to talk about DCS, they want to talk about the governor, they want to talk about the commissioner. You have a child in danger. You're going to remove that child. Now there's nowhere for that child to go. What are we supposed to do? Rhonda Paulson is the founder of Isaiah 117 House, which was created to step in the gap on removal day by giving children a place to go while DCS looks for a foster home. We opened our first home in June of 2018. And as of today, we have 11 open homes with 10 more that will open in the spring of 2023. Um, we have two open homes in Indiana. The other nine are in Tennessee. She says their workload has increased tremendously. The stay prior to 2020, I always told people that our average stay was about eight hours. Post 2020, the average stay is probably three days. But they're only a short term solution for these kids. We are not a group home and we are not a placement. Um, we are not a licensed facility. And so many of these children need a bed in a true licensed facility. Paulson says the need for foster parents is great. Caseworker pay needs to increase and foster care organizations need more financial support. It's the end of the year. Everybody's thinking about how can I give give to an agency that helps foster care. Oh, okay. Here's an update. Now, right now, Isaiah 117 is operating four houses in East Tennessee. Those houses are in Cock, Blunt, Sevier, and Green Counties, plus one is on the way in Anderson Counties. Crews break ground on that location, as a matter of fact, this Sunday. Facilities in Jefferson and Knox Counties also plan to open their doors in the spring.